Hi, for this video, what we are going to do is we are going to find the minimum sample size necessary for a one proportion Z interval to be within a certain margin of error. So for this situation, what we have is we have the minimum sample size. We want to find the minimum sample size to be 95% confident that the population proportion is within 3.5% of the sample proportion. The formula that we use from this is n equals p hat times q hat times our z, our critical value for z. Um, like I said before in other videos, zc could also be z star in your textbook. And then e just represents the margin of error. And the margin of error is the within part. So the e would be the within 3.5%. So this would be our error or our margin of error that we have. Some textbooks call this the standard error. Some denote it as ME for the margin of error. Other textbooks denote it as E. So um, this is just a general formula. I know that there's a lot of different variation between how um, textbooks give the formula. Some don't even give the formula. They just expect you to be able to solve for N. So um, this was just solving for n in the margin of error formula that you would use to come up with a confidence interval. So we have two situations here. We can have a preliminary estimate, something that we already have done. Maybe we've done polls before and we already have a preliminary estimate of um, what our probability of success is going to be. Most of the time we don't have a preliminary estimate. So what we would do is the no preliminary estimate it is going to be your maximum, this would give you your maximum sample size to be within that margin of error. So if you want to find your absolute largest sample size, maybe you have money constraints so you can only ask a certain number of people, so you just want to be within that value, so this would be our maximum sample size. So if you notice from our formula, there are some things that we need to know. We need to know p hat and q hat. So if we don't have a preliminary estimate for p hat, what we can always use is 0 0.5. 0 0.5, like I said, is going to give you your maximum sample size. So if p hat is 0.5, remember q hat is 1 minus p hat. So if I do 1 minus 0.5, it is also 0.5. Our ZC, we would find from our table. So ZC, um, and like I said, it could be Z star or ZC, whichever one your textbook uses. They both are critical values um, for this specific level of confidence. So we would look at 95% confidence, and then we would pull up our table. So for this, we would look for 95% confidence, and we see that it's 1.96. This is the most often used. So we would say ZC is 1.96. And then the last thing we need to know is the error. And as I said before, the error is always the within part. Whatever your um, problem says, if you want to be within 2%, you would use 0 0.02. In this case, it says to be within 3.5%. So I would convert that to a decimal. And so our error would be 0 0.035. And this right here, just in case you don't understand where this came from, I just took the 3.5% and divided it by 100. So make sure that you know how to write a percentage as a decimal. So now all we have to do is simply plug it into our formula. So if we plug it in, we would have 0.5. So we would say our sample size is equal to 0.5 times 0.5. And then we would put our parentheses 1.96 divided by 0 0.035, and then we would square that value. It's very important that you remember to square because you will not come up with the correct answer if you do not square it. So after I plug this into my calculator, I end up with 784. Since this is exact, I don't have to round it. I would need to pull exactly 784 people. Um, and some of you may be surprised with how large this number is, considering that everything over here was a decimal. The reason that we get such a large number is this right here, if I were to actually simplify 1.96 divided by 0 0.035, 
This is actually 56. And so 56 squared is a large number, and then we're multiplying it times 0.5 twice. So that's why we end up with 784. So for no preliminary estimate, we would need a minimum sample size of 784 to be within 3.5% at 95% confidence. Okay, the second situation that we had is we have a preliminary estimate for our p-hat. So we know based on a prior study that we already have a given p-hat. So we would simply do the same thing where we go through and find our information. So our p-hat is given to us. That would be 0.73. Our q-hat, remember, is found by doing 1 minus our p-hat which ends up being 0.27. The Z star or ZC is going to be the same thing, the 1.96, and our error did not change. So the only thing that changed was our values that go in front. So if we plug these into our formula, we would say N equals 0.73 times 0.27. And then in parentheses, we would put the 1.96 divided by 0 0.035 squared. So it's very important that you do this part first and that you put it into your calculator correctly. I've already put it into my calculator. And with this one, I ended up with 618.106. I can't, or I can't ask 0 0.106 of a person. So with this, regardless of the decimal, regardless of this decimal, if you have a decimal, you always round up. Because since you need part of 618 plus a little bit more, because you're pulling an actual person, you would always round up regardless of the value. So we would need the minimum sample for a preliminary estimate where p hat is... Um, 0.73, so the minimum sample is 619 people. So for this one, if you notice 619 is not as large, you will always, if you have a preliminary estimate, end up with a smaller sample. So if you want the largest sample that you can have, then you would just use the 0.5 and 0.5. As always, thanks for watching. Please continue to check out all of my content.